So for today's recipe, we are going to use our superfood moringa. Okay, so let's uh, review our ingredients again. Okay, they are all chopped up right here. These are chopped onions, jalapeno, lemongrass, this is optional, Thai chili, butternut squash, garlic, um, cube chicken breast, and moringa. We have our coconut cream, and we'll be using a little bit of this uh, olive oil to saute the ingredients. Okay, let me organize myself. Uh, it's important that you kind of pound the stem of the lemongrass to release that aroma and flavor. Oh, and it smells so good. Okay, so, and then what I'm going to do with this is just kind of do that, you know tied up. The stems, although it's edible, can get very fibrous as well. So you just run your hand through this, each individual stem right there. Just, oops, <laughs> that's not what I meant to show, but you can hang on to that. Just, I guess the trick is not to put too much uh, pressure or pull hard on it, but uh, just Hang on to the stem, as you see me do here, and just run your finger through it, and you get each individual leaves. It's good to wait till it's nice and warm so that the garlic starts sizzling, and you get that aromatic sensation out of that ingredient. So... Allow your garlic to uh, come to almost a golden brown color. You don't want to burn it, but giving it that light golden brown coloration improves the flavor. And we'll go ahead and put our onion. We are going to saute the onion until it's translucent. cooking on high. I'm used to cooking on high, but uh, for the sake of the viewer, because it's very noisy, <laughs> we are going to lower it. I got the temperature from 1 to 10 on number 7. So we're going to let the onion saute and let it release its flavor and aroma. You really want it to be very aromatic because that aroma will be imparted into your chicken and the chicken will taste so much better. Okay, onion is translucent. We're going to push that aside. Now we are going to add the chicken right in that open area. Okay, let's season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. As you can see, the chicken is nice and brown. And you know that you've done it right because when you look under, we push those chicken aside, you will have all of that brown bits there, which is a caramelized part of the garlic, onion, and the chicken. And that will impart a very good flavor on your dish. So now, the next thing I'm going to add is the butternut squash because butternut squash will take time to cook. And I want it to go ahead and cook 
with the chicken. Okay, we're going to lower the heat to four, uh, number four. And I'm going to put my coconut cream. I'm going to allow this to simmer on a very slow, you know, let it stew. I will be, um, I will be mixing this, stirring it once in a while, and put it on low. I'm putting it at number three. So now we have it at this stage, as you can see, we have sauteed the garlic, the onion, the chicken, chicken breast, and we added the butternut squash and uh, the coconut cream now this is our lemongrass soon when the when this entire dish is uh, done we are going to discard this you don't want to serve this with the food and I'm going to put that there and cover it Maybe, actually, it's been a while I do videos and I tend to forget, forget my sequence. So I'm going to, I have this on high because I want to bring this to a full boil. And then I, as soon as I got it on a nice full boil, I will go ahead and lower it to number three, uh, medium low, and let it stew on that temperature. When I... I think I have about a few minutes left. That's when I'm going to add this Thai chili. And there it is. This recipe is so quick. <laughs> and before I forget, actually the star of this dish, for me at least, is the moringa. I will be putting the moringa and the Thai chili at the same time. I don't want to really cook the moringa to where it's so soggy. I want it to have a little texture. So, okay, let's see how it looks right now. Okay, boiling nicely. Ooh, smell that. Lemongrass is so good. Okay, now we are going to put this on low number three or medium low to give the chicken and the butternut squash uh, time to tenderize. While the butternut squash is nice and tender, we go ahead and add our moringa. Okay. Moringa will not take too long to cook. Just like any other tender greens, it takes but a minute or or less. So I have put this on high, but let's lower that and this this spoon is kind of rough. So I'm going to use my spatula. I'm preventing the butternut squash from getting all smashed and uh, I'm going ahead to take the lemongrass I should have done that before I added the moringa but uh, I'm taking it out now we don't need this anymore the flavor is in the sauce and the rest of the ingredients and here are the Thai chili now you know ch Thai chili is optional you don't have to put that there but I do like spicy food and oh my granddaughter has something to say but uh, I'm keeping it whole and before I serve I make sure that I take that Thai chili out of there and as you can see the sauce is very thick and creamy. Now we are just going to give it a taste for salt and pepper. We're going to see if we need any more salt or any more pepper. And 
and yes, baby, I know. <laughs> My granddaughter is here with me, and as you know, this is an option. I like putting my rind in anything I cook because I like that lemony, bright lemony flavor without the acidity. And cooking is something that should be adventurous. That's how I feel about it. Um, I don't stand, I don't st follow a standard. I give. I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. My granddaughter is having fun running around. <laughs> now, as you know, coconut or coconut cream is very, very uh, rich in flavor. And you need a little bit of acidity to cut through that richness. And I'll squeeze up probably about a teaspoon or so of lemon in there. And this dish is done. Okay? Let's try it for seasoning again. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Lemon, the lemon juice, give it that bright. Uh, slight tartness to it, not sour, and really, really cut through the richness of the coconut cream. So this is ready. We're gonna play. So here's a plate of our moringa with uh, chicken and coconut cream. This is a treat for those who love coconut and like my husband and myself and I promise you if you follow it as I did it and this video it is absolutely delicious <laughs>